Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Outbound Escobar. Today, we are in my garage. We're gonna be talking about an important piece of gear that raises many questions and sometimes even divides outdoorsmen. Should you use a hiking pole or should you leave one at home? Are you a total dork for using one or are you saving yourself pain in the future? Let's talk about that now. So hiking poles, what is the deal? Many people start getting interested in the sport of hiking and they want to know, should I pick one of these up or not? So first and foremost, let's break it down to what makes a hiking pole a hiking pole. At its basic core, a hiking pole is just a stick. I know, I know, it's very simple. It's just a stick that oftentimes people would pick up before they start on their long journeys and walk with that stick. Sometimes they would shave off some of the bark to have a more comfortable grip. Other times they would keep it and make some beautiful ornate designs on it. Some people still to this day even go as far as keeping a wooden walking stick that they pin the logos or the designs from different parks that they visit or trails that they hike. So at its very core, you could even just pick up any stick out on a trail and use it as a hiking pole. In fact, for many people getting into the sport, sometimes they see a pile of sticks at the beginning of a trail they wonder what the heck are those sticks well those are oftentimes walking sticks that people have picked up they really liked them they saw that they're sturdy and so they just leave them behind for the next hiker that comes by don't forget the hiking in the outdoors really revolves and is fueled by the kindness of one another so that's really at its core bare bones all it is is a hiking it's a walking stick so you can of course go as simple as that or as complex as something such as this. This is the REI Carbon Power Lock. It is made of carbon fiber. It is super light, very easy to adjust. It is a wonderful hiking stick that I highly recommend to anybody that they wanna use. You can go as complex as this as well. So should you get one or should you not? Yes and no. If you're looking to get into the sport, just do it. Don't wait till you have enough to buy a carbon fiber pole or pick up a stick while you're hiking. Simple as that. What you will see is that having this in your repertoire, they will help you take the load off your back, take the load off your knees. So maybe if you're a spry 12 year old that loves hitting the trail, loves trail running, these might not be necessarily be the best thing for you. However, this can take a lot of the load off of your joints if you are going a really long way. And it is actually not rare to see um, trail runners running with these things because this can actually kind of save a really bad fall if need be. I've been in situations in which while I was hiking, I was taking a pretty steep tumble and if it had not been for my hiking stick, things could have been really bad, like broken limb level bad. So I'm actually very thankful that I had one. I used to not carry a hiking stick at all or a walking pole at all. Uh, it wasn't actually due to a good friend and mentor of mine showed me why he carries his own and I realized he's a way faster hiker than I am that I realized maybe there's a little bit something to it and I picked up a pair and since I have not gone back. This is actually the pair that I picked up. Uh, it couples here at the very bottom and you can separate it. It has cork in the handlebars. Cork is great uh, to absorb sweat and keep it from getting kind of slippery and, and moist. I know some people don't like that word. <laughs> But uh, this is actually great for long hikes as well. I use two sticks rather than just one. This is really more of a personal preference, but to me, two sticks gives me more stability as I'm going through the trail. I'm also not exactly a slim guy. I carry a lot of weight on myself. So if any kind of tumbles happens, it could end up pretty gnarly. So I'd rather have the ability to stop myself one way or another. So should you get hiking poles or not? Well, pros, you get to save your knees. Pros, you get to be more confident on the trail because more, you're more stable. Pros, in case of a bad fall, you can really stop yourself and keep from getting hurt. Cons, some people say you look like a dork. My question to you is, does that even matter? If you're out and about enjoying a sport, what does it matter what you look like? Live your life, man, and enjoy it. Who cares what other people have to say? So what kind of hiking poles should you get? Well, as I mentioned, I have a pair. If you're a person that carries maybe a little bit more weight about yourself, or if you're looking to go into a long backpacking trail, 
trail, then I highly recommend that you get a pair. A pair will make you a lot more stable in rough terrain, and it, you'll actually be thankful that you have it when you're going downhill, because you'll be able to enjoy putting one down, pushing your weight, and then putting the other, and continue to move forward. Now, if you're mostly just interested in day hiking and you're going in short, simple trails, then maybe a single stick like this one might be more than enough. Really, all you need is something to stabilize you while you're walking, help you cross streams, you name it. A single stick will work just as well. So what handlebar should you get? Some have cork, as I showed you guys, those are great for absorbing moisture from your hand. Some have this kind of spongy, comfy grip that is made out of plastic. I don't really know exactly what it's called. Uh, what I, either one is really your own personal preference. Cork can oftentimes be more expensive than this spongy plastic. It's really whatever you're comfortable with. What I do recommend you stay away from though is a hard composite plastic handles. Those don't have any way to absorb moisture. The reason I recommend that is because as you are hiking and there starts to build moisture in your hand from, uh, from just going about in the heat, you will find yourself shaping a little bit in your hand. You might find some little bit of uh, uncomfortable rub points in the place where your hand connects with the hiking pole. And that's just because there's nowhere for the moisture to go. So it just kind of starts to rub and rub and rub. And that can be pretty uncomfortable making the use of this stick, well, quite useless. So I recommend you stay away from hard composite plastics and look towards plastics that will absorb or materials that will absorb the moisture as you sweat and as you hike. Another thing that I recommend is something that is adjustable. For example, my hiking poles have adjustment points, two of them right here. All you do is pop these little ledges right here and then you can slide them freely to be able to decide what size you need it to be. The reason that is important is because humans come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes and obviously you might not be as short as I am so you might need it to actually come a little bit higher. What I recommend is that you adjust it so that you have a comfortable L bend on your arm as you hold it out straight. That will tell you that it is a good height. So I recommend having at least two joints where you can adjust the height so you can get it just right. As far as extra things to look out for while you are picking a stick, I recommend that you look for a hiking pole or hiking stick with different tips. What do I mean by that? Many hiking poles come with different tips. For example, this one comes with a soft rubber boot, as it's called. This one is just a soft rubber stub. Either ones are great. This is kind of what I use on a regular basis, and these will help you uh, to have different grip in locations such as rock terrain. Many hiking poles already come with a hardened tip. Usually they use uh, carbide, I think, or tungsten at the very tip. This is great for like muddy terrain and things along those lines. But if you're hiking where there's a lot of rocks, you may want to make sure that you put the rubber stop on it because that carbide or uh, tungsten tip will slide right off a rock and you don't want that to happen to you. Trust me, that has happened to me and I have a really gnarly scar to show for it. Um, as far as the boots, I personally like it because it gives you a ton of surface area to grip. And just like a tennis shoe, the more surface area, the more sticky it is, the more secure your footing is. So try to make sure that there's different tips so you can select and choose as different terrain changes. If you are in that place where there's a lot of muddy terrain, you may want to get one with this little skirt right here. This skirt allows you to basically stop your pole from sinking into the mud because that little spread out area will keep it from just disappearing into a mud hole or ice or something along those lines. So that's a nice little feature to get as well. Uh, lastly, but not least, I would make sure that your hiking stick has a strap. This is just super handy for when you are hiking and you need to stop and get a drink of water or check your compass or just you just want to put it down so you can take out your phone and take a great picture. It's nice to be able to have the uh, walking pole hanging from your hand rather than putting it down because you'll actually be surprised how many people have lost hiking poles because they put it down, took a picture, and then decided to start walking and they did not realize they didn't have their pole till about eight miles in. And at that point, they were not going to turn around and go get it again. So this little kind of strap is super handy. It is very common in most hiking poles, so you don't really got to worry much about whether it has it or not, but it's just something that I recommend you make sure that it is available in your hiking pole. 
All right, so in summary, are you a dork for using one of these? Maybe, but who cares? Should you get one of these? Well, if you wanna have a more comfortable hike, the answer is yes. What kind should you get? It's really up to you. You could be a real hipster and have your own beautifully wooden carved hiking stick, or you could go full tech and get a carbon fiber stick like my son likes to carry, or you can be in between and be a guy that just carries an aluminum pole and calls it a day. Up to you, however you wanna do it. The point is, is that you get outside more and enjoy Enjoy this beautiful world that God has made for us. Until next time, guys, stick around, check out the videos that we have in our page here. Make sure that you hit subscribe and live a like. That helps this channel a lot. See you guys next time.